versus Crimson. Gonna be a good set. It's exciting to see Mystery Soul coming back into the scene. He was at Sundown Saga this past weekend. I've also seen him at a couple of other regionals lately, but not at a local in a long time. So really happy to see him coming back. I know Smash to Pieces, certainly one of his old stomping grounds, used to do very well here, as well as Legacy Smash, the other Wednesday tournament that I'm at a lot. So we will see if that momentum from the weekend carries through here. He looked really solid there. Clearly, whatever he's been doing in Brawl Hollow Land has been keeping him up to date because the Incineroar seems as solid as ever, but now he needs to get past Crimson's Wii Fit. So let's see how this match ends up playing out. The immediate side B, no surprises there. Mystery Soul finding that opening and taking it to the bank and continuing to press this advantage. Crimson tried to find an opening there, but look how much damage he's taking just from that one unsafe landing. Now the deep breathing online, but the dash attack going to send Crimson off stage. A pretty comfortable spot for Wii Fit, but against Incineroar, that may not be the case. That'll be an interesting piece of this matchup. Ooh, untackable. Nothing you can do there. Overextending a little bit against Mystery Soul. Such a risky position to put yourself in as Wii Fit. Again, I was just talking about how interesting that offstage game is going to be in this matchup because Mystery Soul, notoriously a terrifying character at the ledge, and Mystery Soul knows how to use him at the ledge with those down tilts, those Cheeto fingers. But we Fit, on the other hand, a character who kind of likes to stall in the corner, get those deep breathings like what we're seeing right there, set up those soccer balls as well. So it's really going to be down to who can figure out how to navigate those situations more. At the moment, Mystery Soul showing pretty solid dominance in this game one, but saluting the sun on that one as Mystery Soul salutes the blast zone and Crimson gets another deep breathing online. Let's see if he can do anything with that to get back into this game. A little bit of a momentum shift, but Mystery Soul sent it right back and now the revenge online. So much damage, another deep breathing, but misses the tech and it's just over. What a fast game. Usually when you see a Wii Fit on the screen, <laughs> it takes a little more than whatever minute and a half or so that game was. Maybe just a, a statement of how aggressive Mystery Soul is. So let's see what the counter picks are here going into game two. Crimson don't know their character pool too well. I kind of expect the Wii Fit to come back out. I know they're pretty confident in that character. Mystery Soul, no reason to switch characters. I've never seen Mystery Soul switch characters anyway, so. Probably just gonna run it back here. Oh no, the cloud. There we go. I guess it makes sense to try something new. We Fit clearly did not work well in that game one, so can't fault Crimson for trying the cloud. I feel like cloud stocks have really been on the rise lately. Everybody's suddenly decided, or at least maybe realized is the better term, that this character is pretty good. And he does well in the current meta. All of the cheesy characters does a really good job of stuffing them out. And the recovery isn't too much of a detriment. So it's been kind of cool to see this character come back to popularity after dying off so hard after the Smash 4 days. However, so far, Mystery Soul continuing to not care what character Crimson plays as he holds center stage. However, the percents are much closer this time around. Mystery Soul doing that patented stand at roll distance away from the ledge. Yep, doing it again. Just facing away from you, waiting for you to make a decision. Sometimes he turns around with those Cheeto fingers. Sometimes it's the side B. But whatever it is, he always seems to find a way to get that hit in, continuously sending Crimson off the stage. I do see that limit is coming online soon. Let's see if he can stay live long enough. Yes, he can. Can he do anything with it? Or is Mystery Soul just going to make him burn it right here, right now? Yes, he is. And now right back to that spot that Mystery Soul is so comfortable with. Not overextending. Good grab from Crimson, recognizing that Mystery Soul was waiting for him to choose an option. So he chose it for him. And now that throw going to take out the first stock. However, 92% right now on Mystery Soul. Let's see what Crimson can do to bring this back before it gets out of hand. Certainly a situation where Mystery Soul can get start to run away with this. But at the same time, Crimson has a lot of options. Oh, what in the world was that? <laughs> My man had no fear. Mystery Soul was holding the charge, so Crimson said, I can do that too. He didn't just run up F-Smash. He ran up and he held that. 
and it worked out for him in the end. However, Mystery Soul still up a little bit in this game. Okay, Crimson got the up air strings. Let's see what he can do with this. Resetting the neutral. Good spot dodge to avoid the grab from Soul and continuing to push the advantage, but the reversal. And now Mystery Soul on the front foot again. There's that spot. I keep telling you, he stands at roll distance and he just faces away from you. And it's so scary to deal with. You can't spot dodge that F smash though as Crimson brings this into his advantage for the first time in the set and all of a sudden mystery soul needs to find the answer maybe he can get a good revenge no goes for the side b but gets beat out by the side b of crimson instead dash attack gonna send him off tries to faint off stage burns that limit and the cheeto fingers take the stock bringing this to an even game almost mystery soul slightly behind but we'll just call that rage build up you know he can bring this back he's done it time and time again and there you go 36 percent off of one interaction and the corner pressure goes for the down air but he whiffs Okay, the Lariat getting him out of that scary situation, but a lot of limit on Crimson right now. Can he get back? Yes, he can. Doesn't need to burn that limit, and that puts him in a good position. He has so much speed and maneuverability right now, but Mystery Soul gets that max range grab. So good at finding those, and now that limit might have to be burned. Yes, it does, but the Cheeto Fingers catches the unsafe landing and takes the game and the set with it. Good stuff to Mystery Soul, managing to take the set in 2-0 fashion. But at the same time, Crimson really made him work for that second game. He had to turn on the afterburners in the end there. Could have very easily gone to a game three. All right, let's take a look at these highlights here. Mystery Soul got so many revenges in that game one. I feel like that was a, a big part of it. <laughs> I can't believe he got hit by that Salute the Sun, though. I hear that was scary, just the... The rapid response from Mystery Soul. Nothing that Crimson can really do about that unless he has the reaction time of an absolute god, which unfortunately in that case he didn't. I will say the cloud looked really solid. If that was a best of five, who knows what could have happened. We see a lot of situations where Mystery Soul tried to spot dodge, tried to do those side Bs, and just those big good buttons from Cloud coming out and doing his dirty work for him. However, speaking of dirty 